For Action News, I'm Anna Dolosky. It's a clever marketing plan disguised as a public health issue brought to you by the Healthy Building Network, an environmentalist group aiming to make building homes safer. Sounds great. Who wouldn't want a healthy home free of all those toxic chemicals? Unless, of course, that home is built on lies. In his latest Science 2.0 piece, Aksha's Dr. Josh Bloom discusses the major gaps in both the science and the economics in the idea of replacing safe and approved phthalates with bio-based plasticizers. There's an environmental organization called the Healthy Building Network. They've been around for about 15 years, and their mission seems to be to um, replace petroleum-based um, materials that are used in homes with uh, natural-based materials. The big push within this movement is to replace these so-called petroleum-based chemicals with ones that come from natural, renewable resources. And this sounds very lovely when you hear it, but if you look behind the scenes, everything is not what it seems to be. Just for an example, uh, there's a group of compounds called phthalates, and they're used to make uh, PVC plastic soft and pliable, so you can bend it and things like that. And they definitely want to get rid of phthalates uh, because they believe they're harmful or because they want to sell their own replacement for phthalates, or both. The trouble is that phthalates have been studied for a bazillion years, and Aside from some junk science, there really isn't uh, anything I see to be concerned about with the phthalates that are used now to uh, soften up plastic. There is a common fallacy that uh, your starting material for whatever you're making has any bearing whatsoever on the quality, safety, or whatever of the final material, and that's absolutely wrong. A great example of this is vitamin C. Most people think that the tablets they're taking from your vitamin shop are somehow squeezed out of an orange or a lemon. And they can be, but in fact that's not how vitamin C is made because it's more expensive. So what's really done is they start with glucose and they do five or six chemical steps using a series of reagents. Many of these reagents are just plain old poisons. It doesn't matter because once the synthesis is complete, all these chemicals are gone and you've got vitamin C. It's identical to the vitamin C you get from the orange. It makes no difference whatsoever. The only thing that counts is the composition and the purity of, of your final product, not where it comes from. The concept of renewable resources for building is one that I question uh, right away because do you want to make your house out of corn? Well, the corn is converted into starch. Starch is converted into glucose. And the glucose is the starting material for these um, plasticizers. So essentially what you're doing is you're growing corn to make plastics. And one could make an argument that you're way better off using petroleum products to make your plastics and not corn, which could be put to much better use. You can find Dr. Bloom's entire op-ed on our website at aksha.org, that's acsh.org. And while you're there, don't forget to also sign up for your daily dose of news delivered right to your inbox. For Aksha, I'm Anna Dolosky.